What's going on YouTube and welcome back to our channel here at Vagabond Builds and today we're bringing you another comparison video between two cars and to my right we have the 2023 Jeep Wrangler Sahara compared to the 2023 Jeep Wrangler Sport Trim and we're going to be talking about differences of exterior interiors and specs about these cars but before we do because it's not a sponsored video we ask that you support us here at Vagabond Builds and type that like button and subscribe to our channel because we truly appreciate your guys' support. If you got something for us to film, here's our email below. Email us if we could talk details later. A special shout out and a thanks to Folsom Lake Jeep Ram Dodge and Chrysler for providing us both of these Jeeps for this review. Also stay tuned, keep watching. We're dropping those MSRP stickers so you guys get an exact idea of what comes on these cars and the price tag on top. Now let's go ahead and talk Jeep Wrangler. Now let's kick off this comparison video with talking some specs between the Jeep Wrangler Sport Trim with the hood up compared to the Jeep Wrangler Sahara. Now, the reason we only dropped or picked up, sorry, one hood is because they literally have the same exact drivetrains and that comes in the V6 3.6 liter 24 valve VVT engine e-torque. Don't forget that, gotta mention that one. And eight speed automatic transmission, four by four, pushing 285 horsepower with 260 pounds feet of torque. A little bit about the MPG is 19 city, 24 highway and a 21 combined with a 21.5 gallon gas tank size, everybody. Now, again, I do mention this in a lot of my videos, is that you do have different options in the drivetrains or the engines in different Jeep Wranglers. Now you have the four by E's and also you have the scat pack version if you want the big beast, that's also an option, but of course, prices change and things of that sort. But let's go ahead and drop this hood, lock it, and start talking differences of Sahara and Sport Wrangler. So, starting off with the front end, there's a whole lot of difference to the front end. So we're gonna start off with the bumper. Okay, so the fog light area here is completely different from the Sahara. The bumper itself has slightly different shape and look to it. If we go ahead and come over to the Sahara, again, it's a higher trim, higher class feel, more kind of sleek design with that silver inside that fog light uh, bezel area with the LED fog lights. The bumper looks slightly different, a little bit more higher class. Now, if we go ahead and talk some more differences, the sleeker design on the hazards, they do come LED lighting system on the uh, front headlamps. Wanted to show you guys the difference in that. Okay, those are a little bit longer. So this sport light is shorter here, okay? And it's a halogen bulb to where that is a LED bar bulb, if you can see that. Now, coming with the headlights, these are just that uh, soft yellow. So pretty much the sport is kind of more of the baser trim with that little Jeep front end. That's very cool. And then the grill. All right. So you have the same color grill or the, uh, on the Sahara rather than the sport. You have that kind of matte plastic, uh, I would say cheaper look on that grill. So it's not the same color as the car. But if we come over to the Sahara, you get that same color grill as the car with that silver coming in between, just giving it more of a higher class feel. Now, Camera integrated in the Sahara with a camera washer nozzle right under that to where the Sport does not come camera, all right? You still get your tow hooks and your uh, bottom skid plates under both cars, Sport and the Sahara. Now, hood latches are the same. The hoods pretty much look the same. Another difference on the side are the wheel well, wheel well covers and that is because the Sahara gets that same paint as the car to where that is the matte black plastic. Now these do slightly sun fade. That's why I typically like the more painted look and it's just a higher class, but you can scratch those to where this takes a higher beating. Dropping down, rims are different in that kind of metallic silver or hyper silver look. You have the Michelin tires, 245, 75, 17s, and they are running the LTXs, MSs to where here, you're getting the Goodyear Wranglers, and the size of this is going to be, let me just find that, 255-70A-teens, okay? So bigger tires on this one. Ground clearance, starting from about 9.7 inches on the ground clearance, you get it from the base. Now, if you do have bigger tires, increased lifts, things of that sort, special packages, it's from 9.7 and 
higher on the Jeep Wranglers. Another difference between Sahara and Sport is the running boards. Pretty much similar, you still got the unlocked locking buttons, the heated side mirrors, you can take off the doors. Up top, you have the hard top, removable hard tops, same or similar on both from Sahara to the Sport. On the rear side or the rear end, literally pretty much similar, not much to talk about. You still get cameras on both, okay? Get the cameras. One thing that's slightly different, I would have to say, is again, difference in the color trim, and you get that Jeep Performance Wrangler badge to wear here on the Sahara, no badge, and you get that same color kind of door hinge look, all right? That's something to take into consideration. Now, the, uh, the bracket itself from the Sport to the Sahara, that bracket starts from here and goes all the way in to where here are just the two hinges and the brackets come from the tailgate itself. Now, let's go ahead and open up cargo area. And here goes the cargo area. Now the cargo area itself, again, because five seater, same exact uh, cargo area. Here is what it looks like under the mat. You have your tire situation going on here. Some tie downs, your Alpine subwoofer in both. You get that in Sport and in Wrangler. So that's stand, I'm Sport and Sahara. That's standard 12 volt DC alley on the left, standard in both. Okay. And again, the hard top look in the back with the roll bar uh, going across. That is same. Something that's very cool I want to show you guys is check out this little Jeep plate, the Sport Utility 4x4, two door, four door, kind of gives you uh, dimensions and heights and all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and drop this window close this and now that we're pretty much done talking some specs exterior differences and cargo look let's go ahead and jump on the inside so now sitting inside the jeep wrangler sport trim and right off the bat the main difference is everybody that i would like to show you guys so i'm not boring you out is if we come over here to this little button we have the parking sensors now i forgot to mention that the rear on the sport comes with the parking sensors to where the sahara did not come with parking sensors so that button is different here in the sport compared to the sahara you do not have that extra button all right another thing that's different is the trim this is kind of a matte kind of uh i would say grayish gold look don't know the exact name of that but you get that in the gloss on the Sahara with the chrome. So the Sahara is a little bit more kind of classier feel on the interior side with regards to the trim. It's a little more, bit more basic without the chrome and just kind of the matte color right there. Talking about seats, you have Sahara on the seating backrest integrated into the canvas that you get to where the Sport is again basic, so you, do, you don't get anything on that backrest, but the design is pretty much the same, the canvas, the material, same. Another thing that is different is on the armrest in the Sahara, you get stitching here to where you see these two pieces come together to where the sport is just a basic kind of leather cover or leather fuel cover. I'm not sure if it's leather or not. But overall, the look of the Jeep remains the same in the Wrangler. Starting with the door panel, you get the unlock lock button and your controls to your elect electric side mirrors. They are heated. On the left-hand side of the manual steering column, you get your uh, light bar. I mean your light knob, and then the little um, wheel for dimming your uh, lights on your dashboard, all right? Let's go ahead and turn off those hazards. The clusters are the same with your manual tachometers on the right and left, and that digital info card that you can go through with your controls on your steering wheel. Behind your steering wheel, you have the controls for channels and radios and all that stuff, the volume cruise control in both with the windshield wiper and signal lighting system. Pretty much similar, okay? I'm going over the similar things. Infotainment screen, similar. Wanted to just show you guys a quick look of how it looks. Heated seats, heated steering wheel in both Sahara and the Sport. You get your apps. Navi wanted to show you guys how that looks, where to and all that good stuff. But if you shoot down to Folsom Lake Jeep here at Folsom, California, you guys will have some time to spend with these guys and they will go through the ins and outs. So your control unit here for your temperature is a dual uh, climate control. You can sync them. You also can control your heated seats and heated steering wheel, not just by touchscreen, but also manual buttons. 
And then right under that, you get your parking sensor, on and off engine, traction control mute, your uh, speed select screen off button. Right under that are your window switches, 12 volt outlet, and your media little area here for aux, USB-C, USB-A. And then your aux buttons if you want to put like light bars and things of stuff like that on the Jeep that you can connect to these buttons and have that option. Big sunroofs, I mean, sorry, big cup holders. I was literally thinking about talking about the top, but big cup holders, your shift knob with that nice little old Jeep there on top. You get that in both. So that's a pretty cool characteristic. Shift knob for your 4x4, still a manual e-brake. And goodness, I'm in love with these because a lot of times, maybe you want to move your car and you want to drop it in neutral, but your battery's dead and you can't remove the e-brake. I'm a fan of these, but most manufacturers are switching to the electronic e-brake. Up top, this is what the uh, hard top, three-piece hard top looks like. You remove them from here. That's pretty much similar for anybody who knows Jeep Wrangler. And your sun visors with your garage openers and your assistant SOS, all right? So this is what the front looks like. Let's go ahead and jump over to the second row seating inside this sport. And then we're gonna jump over to the Sahara and finish off this video. Now, second bench seating or second row seating inside the Jeep Wrangler Sport. Just wanted to let you guys uh, get an idea. 60% back bench on the passenger side and then a 40% on the driver's side. They do drop down from the levers here by your shoulder. All right, you can pull that down just like that and connect that trunk space over to that seating area, all right? If you got more things or less passengers and you wanna drop bicycles and stuff like that in here or dishwashers, you can actually probably fit a dishwasher or dryer back here, which is pretty cool. Now, in between the front seats is the main difference with regards to sport compared to the Sahara and why? Because you have your USB plugins and your inverter in the Sahara to where the sport does not come with USB plugins or the inverter. So that's something to pay attention to. But the window switches are similar and the cup holders, shout out to Jeep for those big cup holders. Now, mats with that pretty cool design of that old time Jeep there with your little tools and kind of off-road look on those mats. In between that center console and up above that mat, you have two pockets that are similar from the Sahara to the Sport. And let's do a space test. Now I'm about six feet, two inches, everybody. So I'm pretty tall. Depends on your driver or passenger, how tall they are or how far back the seat is. You are going to be feeling a little bit squished with regards to your legs. My legs are touching, but the head clearance is there. There is no doubt about it, all right? So put the short people in the front and the tall people in the back or vice versa, it doesn't matter, I guess. Up in front of you, you got the speakers and the LED lighting system. That is very cool that they put that in. They don't have the soft yellows anymore, but pretty much we're done with the look on the Sport. Let's go ahead and jump over to the Sahara and show you guys a quick outlook on that. Now sitting inside the Sahara trim and right off the bat, the main differences that I talked about from Sport to Sahara is starting off with this button here, this speed select button is different because it is longer. You don't have that parking sensor button. So no parking sensors on that back bumper of the Sahara. That's different. Now, if we come over to the seating, Design is the same, but you just get Sahara embroidered on that backrest, all right? And then you get the stitching here on the armrest that is different itself. And then the trims that give it more of a higher class feel. Remember the Sport was just kind of a matte, same color, but this was kind of glossed over or um, sprayed, with, sprayed with clear coat per se. And then the silver lining kind of gives it more of a richer look inside the Sahara, all right? That is pretty much the main difference. Let's go ahead and, and jump over to the back bench and show you guys the back of that center console. Now, main difference on the second row seating in the Sahara is the USB-Cs and USB-A plugins with the 115 volt, 150 watt inverter. If you wanna bring an air fryer with you or a hair dryer while you're camping or going off road, have no idea why you do that, but that is pretty much the main difference back here. Okay, so as promised everybody, here are the MSRP stickers to the Sport, and here is the MSRP sticker to the Sahara. Get an idea of exactly what comes on these cars and the price tag on top. Thank you so much for watching our channel here at Vagabond Builds. Any comments, questions, concerns, leave in the comment section below. We'll try to get back to you guys as best as possible. Everybody stay tuned, keep watching. We have more cool things coming here at Vagabond Builds. God bless you.